It is my pleasure to, to uh, introduce Manel Amin, the founder and CEO of Diligence Vault. So thank you, Maribeth. And uh, at Diligence Vault, as Maribeth mentioned, we are creating a digital life cycle for diligence for the investment management industry. And in many ways, creating a new, new vertical within FinTech called InvestTech. Most institutional investors and wealth investors engage with hundreds of asset managers as the research opportunities. In that process, they collect a lot of information, which today sits in documents. As a result, it's highly unstructured and, and also very difficult to analyze. On the asset manager side, they engage with anywhere between 25 and 1,000 investors. And for each investor, they are recreating the diligence wheel. What it means is their IR teams are answering similar questions from multiple different investors where most of the information being asked is very similar. As an industry which is $84 trillion large, both sides suffer from information overload. And a lot of this information exchange is conducted via emails and VDRs. And each investor manager manual diligence process is compounded across the entire network, creating a massive opportunity to drive change and make an impact. So in my previous role, I used to be at City, and I used to be both the blue dot and the orange dot at the same time. So I've seen the inefficiencies from both sides, which led me to the idea of creating a centralized platform that serves as an information exchange tool, but at the same time, it creates a data repository, which is repurposable, as well as provides workflow automation. That's a lot, but the industry desperately needs all three. So now let's see how this works. So we'll start with the investors. They can digitize their information requests directly on the platform, which takes them away from Word and PDF. Once they've digitized this request, they send it to their asset managers, who then respond directly on the platform, so removing the need to create the data in documents. Once they start answering the responses, investors can then track everything directly on the platform without having to do unnecessary follow-ups and reminders. Once the data is available, they can create portfolio views, which they couldn't do before. They can also do side-by-side -side comparisons, which also they couldn't do before because everything was sitting in documents. So it gives them an ability to track what's happening in their peer universe, as well as do similar time series analysis. For large portfolios, they can now very easily do benchmarking of data and look for themes, trends, and outliers. So as you can see, an end-to-end -end diligence process massively helps the investors in acting diligently because now they have data at their fingertips. But for any two-sided network, in our case, investors and managers, it only works if there is sufficient value for both sides. So now let's talk about how asset managers derive value on Diligence Vault. So once an asset manager adopts Diligence Vault, they no longer have to rely on paper or documents and PDFs. They can leverage Diligence Vault to repurpose a lot of their previous responses and answering multiple different investor requests. And this is where our NLP engine kicks in. The entire team has full transparency into what's happening with each investor request. And then they can also collaborate as a team in slicing and dicing an entire investor request through our collaboration and workflow functionality. So thereby they avoid a lot of lengthy email chains. Now when both sides, so one of the other things that happens is as the investor is asking questions and managers responding to these questions, it creates a repository of Q&A, which is auditable. And as an outcome, asset managers now have had better control on their data, better compliance of how they're responding to investors, and also insights into how investors are engaging with their materials. So when both sides come together on the platform, it creates a brand new experience of transparency, of productivity, and of analytics, which cuts down the cost and takes out the friction from the industry. So in it, we are in an industry which is data hungry. We occupy a unique niche, which is more around qualitative data and text analytics. 
but there is a lot of complementary offerings available, right? So there is obviously leading data providers. Some of them are in the room right now. Um, there are process providers as well. And then there is Microsoft. So we are working to integrate across multiple different providers. And uh, FinTech Sandbox has been fantastic in helping with data partnerships. So we are hoping to create integration with Morningstars and Thomson Reuters so that our users can now have an integrated view of their diligence process. So with all of this hype, does it really work? So we have had tremendous adoption from our user community through our SaaS business model. We have over 900 investors using Diligence Wall through our freemium data product. And we have thousands of asset managers, including each and every asset manager that is sponsoring FinTech Sandbox using Diligence Wall platform to do interact with their investors. We also continue to invest in our text analytics and NLP algorithms because that is what we excel at, is working with a lot of unstructured data. So as we are moving the industry from chaos to order, very much like what Common App did to for college applications or for what AngelList did for startups and their investors, we are completely changing the space. So if you're intrigued or if you're looking to change your diligence process, or if you want to learn about our obsession with dots, we will be out there <laughs> in the showcase. So I have my colleagues, Heidi Thompson and Nitin Kosla. So we'll look forward to speaking with you. Thank you.